Russia has just announced a policy that will change international tourism as we know it. Compared to Westerners who can just book a flight to Africa and get a visa on arrival, we Africans on the other hand who want to visit any Western country must go through long visa appointments and processes, even after going through all the hassle that comes with long queues and expensive charges from travel agents. It's still possible for your visa request to be rejected. Now, it is no news how hard it is for Africans to secure short-term visas to the United States. Some people even have to wait a year or more just to secure an appointment. Now, imagine waiting 365 days only to be denied. That is truly insane. Kai, I kind of owe my money while I don't spend them. Wow. So I'm here right now, standing in front of the, uh, in front of the. Uh, I'm speechless. <laughs> Standing in front of the American embassy. Guy, this guy, they. Kai! These people are wicked. Very, very wicked, man. Chai! <laughs> so my ride is here. I had the longest ride back home. Yeah, the, there you have it. That was a vlog about me coming back from Yaoundé after I was denied a visa. I just wanted to sleep. I just wanted to crash because I was tired mentally and physically. If you follow recent news in African diplomacy, it is no news that Russia and its president Putin have been major allies of a number of African countries. So when Russia decided to change these visa policies and make global travel easier, it makes sense. Somewhere in 2023, Ozirov, the ambassador of the Russian Foreign Ministry, announced for the first time that Russia was working on a visa-free program with all Africans. According to him, Russia has visa-free agreements with six African countries. He emphasized that they are not excluding any country and that the speed with which other agreements will be concluded was only a matter of negotiations. If you look at this move, it certainly means that it will improve the relations Russia has with Africa. Africans can just book a flight to Russia without the hassle of going through visa appointments and my personal favorite, the business opportunity it will provide to make transport of goods and services easier between African countries and Russia. Not forgetting solving the migration crisis of our brothers and sisters using dangerous routes to get to Europe. Now I understand that people are looking for greener pastures and better opportunities but some of these routes have caused the death of many Africans in the process. So this policy is a step in the right direction to stop or reduce drastically the migration crisis from Africa to the West. Now one other thing to be concerned about is direct flights from Russia to Africa. Ozirov also spoke about the progress in direct flights in the coming months to make traveling between the continents easier and this is good news for tourists and people who are looking to explore Russia as a holiday destination. Now, I mean. Russia has, you know, Moscow's Red Square, St. Basil's Cathedral, St. Petersburg, and you can also check out the wilderness of Siberia. All these great places waiting to be explored for African adventurers without the stress of visa application processes and the tension of awaiting for a visa approval or in the worst case scenario, a denial. I mean, imagine the relief of no longer fasting for visas and prophecies from African pastors when deciding to travel abroad. Don't come after me, that was just on a lighter note. But moving forward, let's look at something that Putin said about Africans looking for citizenship in Russia. In a recent decree, he would go ahead to say that Africans who decide to participate in Russia's fight against Ukraine are qualified to apply for Russian citizenship, not just for themselves but also for their families as well. So as soon as you decide to sign a contract with Russia's military operations in Ukraine, you can submit an application to obtain a Russian passport for yourself and your family members. I know the ongoing fight hasn't been easy for both Ukraine and Russia, so this decree to entice foreigners to join the Russian army, I kind of saw this coming. But hey, the United States offers the same for non-citizens to qualify for naturalization as long as he or she has served in the US military for at least one year, so who are we to judge? I'm just saying. So it's not surprising among the many foreigners who joined the Russian army, Africans in terms of percentage are more. More than 1,000 Africans have joined the Russian army as compared to about 300 Africans that joined the Ukrainian army. Imagine all these people just looking for a better life only to be used as weapons for a fight they know nothing about. That's crazy. But then again, who are we to judge? If we are Russia, you will probably do the same thing in times of crisis. Also, in recent times, we've seen most African countries distancing themselves from the West. But you can't say that about Russia. 
Russia has been trying to create diplomatic relations with a number of African countries. Now, we've also seen Burkina Faso becoming allies with Russia, with its young African president, Traoré. We've seen Mali, Niger, Senegal, follow suit, all shifting away from France and the West to Russia. And with all these strict visa processes, pressure from the West in African diplomacy, one thing that surprises me is how Western countries can still stay fixated on the fact that it is my way or no way. Because let's face facts, when it comes to trade, labor, skills in every area of endeavor, Europe needs Africa. Times are fast approaching where Africans are holding their leadership accountable. There's high rise of competent leadership in various African countries and the game of foreign aid is becoming less relevant to many African countries. Therefore, Africa can now decide what is good for Africans without always conforming to Western policies for survival. But what do you think about these policies from Russia? Share with me your thoughts in the comment section below. My name is Your Heritage. I'm a traveler and explorer, currently exploring Ghana. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.